amazing games here in the Elite Conference Divisional Round. Coming right into your living room. And Skimbo will get the ball first. Early on, you see Skimbo come out an onside kick. An audible to a normal return. That's because if Blocky does that pooch kick, he gets a speedster. Blocky kicks it off normal, though. Blocky gets the bye. Skimbo will get the ball. Start at the 27. This is a big game of John Madden football, Scott. I know I keep telling you, but a lot of money on the line, a lot of glory on the line. Your entire Madden season on the line. Both of these guys, if you include their wins, that they got $1,000 a win in the regular season. They've both made $27,000 already just here in the Ultimate League alone. Winning this game will guarantee you $47,000. First and ten. After you bring home some money like that, your parents won't give you a hard time about getting on those sticks. Three-man rush, throws it downfield to Hester. That's well out of bounds. I want to remind the folks at home about the playbook situation here between Skimbo and Blocky. Yeah, for Skimbo, they're both going to be running the same offensive playbook, Scott. They're both in that very popular West Coast offense that has that amazing gun bunch that we've seen from a lot of our competitors. And on defense, Blocky is in that Kansas City Chiefs defense, which is very popular. Skimbo in the New England Patriots defensive playbook. Second and ten. Rolling. Looking. X trying to get open, but he got chucked downfield. He got tangled up. He just throws it away. This could be a gritty game. The first game they played in that Madden Championship, in the Madden Club Championship, Skim won 24-10. The next one, which was a regular season game in Ultimate League, got down to the nitty-gritty, and Skimbo had to grind out a 13-9 win. Third and 15 after the fall start. Skimbo's going to make sure at all costs that Blocky keeps that line off aggressive. Got a scramble. A throws on the run. I believe he went past the line of scrimmage. A legal forward pass. That's a loss of down. It's going to be fourth and 20. It's not a great start. Skim's going to have to punt this rock. That's good defense by Blocky. He takes a lot of pride in just being able to get pressure and playing good defense. And if you ask around these competitors, they'll tell you Blocky's got one of the best defenses in the country. Generally, world class at generating that pressure. And Skim knows this is going to be a grindy type game. He's going to have to get it done on defense. But Blocky is. The defensive specialists also looked really good on offense so far this season, Scott. Or else he wouldn't have gotten that bye here in the playoffs. That was a net 38-yard punt. That may be the longest of the season. Oh, you know Skimbo's going to be prepared. Wh whoever he's got out there at kicker, he's going to know he's going to be able to punt the rock. He's the guy that he doesn't leave any box unchecked. He's supposed to be ready for every situation. First rip for Blocky. Gets two. Got Mariota as his quarterback. This is a defensive player that has started to hit some strides on the offensive side of the ball and started off to a great start to the season. Went 4-0. That really propelled him to win his division, get this first round bye. But now Michael Skimbo is coming into his house. Very similar to Skimbo as well. As Skimbo was known, it's a little opposite, but similar in the sense Skimbo was known for his high-powered offense. But this year, especially later on in the season, everybody says it's his defense, which has made him so difficult to handle. So both of these players just well-balanced all around, both getting it going on offense, both getting it going on defense. And again, I think this one's going to come down to the wire, Scott. Mariota in the flats. Henry will pick up the first down at the 42. It's a big opportunity, too, if you're blocky. Abbott Lopez from Miami, Florida. You get the stop early on skim. If you can go down and get yourself some points, preferably a touchdown here, you'll really be able to put the defending champion under pressure. Skimbo style is a bend, don't break. As we have some more movement up front, Yannick jumps into the neutral zone be a first and five. His style 
is a bend don't break defense hoping that you're going to make a bad read it's worked very well for him skin prides himself on not giving up those big plays likes to bring a lot of pressure leads the league in sacks his adjustments are just so good he's very good at looking and seeing what adjustments you're making what you want to do what you like to do in different situations and right when you think it's safe bam before you know it skims adjusted to you made made a play it's gonna be an interesting matchup we talked about skimbo leading the league in sacks well blocky leads the leagues in sacks allowed gave up 54 of those during the regular season goes to the running game here and henry Broke through one, couldn't get away from Paul Krause, but it's enough for a first down. Blocky, he's focused. And we saw his interview earlier in the broadcast where he said his biggest mad and fear is not getting back what he put in or not accomplishing what he set out to accomplish. Well, he's going to have a chance here in this game to accomplish a whole lot. Mariota in the pocket. Somehow escaping will throw it away. Going to bring up a second and 10 from the 16. Still nothing, nothing with 2.41 left in the first. Divisional round of the Elite Conference. Over in the Legend Conference, Dreamy and True Boy have already punched their ticket. The thing I like, Scott, about Blocky is seems to have a really strong mental. You don't see much emotion out of him. You know, we've seen some reactions where he gets a little bit frustrated, but he's never truly out of his game. You don't see him go on tilt often. Very focused at the task at hand and executing what he needs to execute. And those are the most difficult players to deal with, especially when playing in big games on the big stage. Oh, it's yeah. picked off by Larry Wilson. And the questionnaire we had of who was his favorite player, RG, was all caps. Larry Wilson. Oh, my. It, 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 it was his full name. We asked all these players, hey, who are the key players on your roster? And for Mike Skimbo, he had Wentz, lowercase, Hester, lowercase, and then in all caps, Larry Wilson, the full name, all caps. And he's been making plays for Mike Skim all season long. None of them might have been bigger than that interception. And that's huge for Blocky. You get a stop on a player like Mike Skim. You don't turn it into points. You give him back some momentum. Not a good look if you want to win the game. Wide open, Devin Hester. He can run. I'll bring him down at the 47. That'll work the clock under two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero game. Second possession for Skim who had a punt on his opening drive. In the preparation for Mike Skimbo, could you imagine? Blocky was the player he was most worried about all season long. But if he's able to somehow pull off this W and go 3-0 and against the guy that you've been worried about and prepared the most for, that just speaks to the preparation and greatness of Mike Skimbo. Able to slide down at the 40. That's going to bring up a second and three. See all those pre-snap adjustments? I'm just glad Blocky's got longer shorts on. I'm telling you, down at the club championship in Miami, won that thing for the Dolphins. It looked like he'd come right off South Beach. <laughs> Win a couple oh, Madden games, no, head right back out there on, to the surf. Oh, frustrated. Man. Felt like he had a touchdown up that seam, but overthrow from Wentz. And he's got himself in a big third and three. And this is awkward, Scott. This is a third and awkward because not only do you need the first down, you need a couple more yards here to get yourself in field goal range. It's a huge play. Three yards to go here on third down. Wentz, crossing route. A little drag from Ocho. He'll pick up the first down. Very good patience right there by Mike Skimble. Look at this. Stays in the pocket. Waits for the underneath dig route to just clear that spy. Good execution, good first down, high level mat in Mike Skim. First and 10. Ball now at the 34 in field goal range. These guys are both going to test those defensive lines, make sure they're not set to aggressive. This time they come. 
pouring in on the draw. It's going to bring up a second and 14 after the loss. It's that Dolphins controller, the blocky. And I like when we show that, that angle right there, because you get some perspective on how many adjustments these guys make at the line of scrimmage, how fast their hands are moving, how fast their minds are thinking. It's all important stuff if you want to play Madden at the highest level. Ocho. It's to the 31. That might be the final play of the quarter. Two defensive-minded players. Scoreless at the end of one. Start of the second quarter here between Skimbo and Blocky. We're in the divisional round of the Elite Conference. Here in the playoffs of the Ultimate League. Coming to you from LA. We've had a great season thus far, and really for us, it's just getting going as the road to the Madden Bowl continues. Third and seven. Flips the script. Ocho Cinco now solo to the right. Runs that C route. And Chad Johnson pulls it in at the 12. Like skin. It's just corner strike play. You got corner routes from both your flanker receivers. It's a flood type concept, a high low read. Nobody run better at running that play than Mike Skim. Second and six now at the eight. Corner strikes made him a lot of money, Scott. Blocky's got to lock up. Hands it off to Jamal Charles on the draw. Jamal Charles. And he's in there for six. He rolled over the defender into the end zone. That's good money if you're Mike Skimbo. If you the player you tank, you spend no cap on your halfback. You got a 78 overall gold version, 26 cap. Jamal Charles is not that great. But if he can score touchdowns for you in the biggest game of your season, you will take it. And that draw, you, you got to be ready for that if you play Skim or any of these West Coast guys, Scott. It's the only run play in this gun bunch formation. And Skim often gives it away that he's running that draw because he'll motion that tight end and snap it. Doesn't seem to matter, though. Skim's still able to execute. it will give you the tell and still make it work. Out to the outside, Henry. Paul Krause taken for a ride to the 31. It's a big drive for Blocky here, Scott, because remember, he gets the ball to start the second half. So if he can keep up with Skim here in the first half, we'll be in prime position to take the momentum at the start of the second half. Back to pick. There is a sack by that was it. Yannick from Jacksonville. Oh, Skim's mad right here about the sack because he feels like if Blocky threw that, he was lurking that crossing route. Might have got the pick. I don't know. It was, a, it was a little underneath there. I don't know if he would have got there, but nonetheless, it would have been close. It's tough to tell where he was going with the football. It looked like it would have been close. Let's not forget about Abbott Lopez, a.k.a. Blocky. This was a guy who was the 16th seed, almost didn't make it into Ultimate League. Ooh, almost throws an interception right there, playing with fire. Yeah, it was problem. Wright who had to beat the Steelers club champion, a man by the name of Deliverance. And he got that win. That put Blocky into the ultimate league, and he sees the opportunity. Big fourth and eight by Blocky. Blocky in his second season. Skimbo in his third here in the MCS era. John Madden football. See the disgust on Skim's face right there after letting up that big fourth and eight. Blocky, a true Cinderella story, continues to impress. And you got to do that in life, Scott. You, you, you almost didn't make it. You, you heard him. He's scared. He's not going to get back what he puts in. Well, you know what? You, you got some life. You got an opportunity. And that young man has made the best of it, getting himself a bye. His first round of the playoffs guaranteed himself 27 grand. Just 21 years old. This is his second live event 
had won 8,500 coming into the season. Has a chance to put his winnings for the league at 40 with a victory here. And he had the seven wins. Well, that's an add seven grand on top of that, 47 grand, and that doesn't count the eight five he made from the club. That'll put him over 50 grand on the year. He's playing a little John Madden football on the side. That's a, that's a productive hobby if you ask me. Huge Dolphins fan. Needs a big drive here. Brennan Cooks can't get away. I'll mark him down at the 43. That's going to bring up a big third and nine. 235 to go in the half. Trailing by a touchdown. If you're blocking, you're running this gun bunch. But you got to remember, Skim's been running this gun bunch offense for three plus years right now. So it's going to be really hard to catch him off guard with anything out of this formation. Third and nine. He's got to make the right reads. And there's Westbrook <laughs> with an unbelievable grab down to the 17. And that should take us to the two-minute warning. You want to talk about a game of inches, Scott. Skimbo's defender breaks on it, looking for an interception. Blocky's receiver doesn't seem to care. Possession catch, big game. And Skim knows it's a couple steps away from a big turnover. It's a playoff version of D.D. Westbrook. That run he made with the Jags. And Henry powers his way to the 12. Skimbo had him right where he wanted him. And Mariota threw a laser beam to D.D. Westbrook, the former Sooner. This has been one of those drives for Block. He had the big fourth and eight. Like you said, that big long pass to D.D. Westbrook that was close. All you got to do now if you're blocky is you got to finish strong here from, from Skim's 12-yard line. And even three is big because you get the ball to start the second half. Get some points here, get some points there. All of a sudden, you're in a really good spot. Blocky trying to kill this clock as well. Leave Skim with minimal time to do anything in this first half if he was to get the ball back. Sneaks it. Oh, oh my It's going to be fourth and inches. Decision time for Blocky. If you're Mike Skimbo and Blocky goes for oh. this, you can get a stop here. This is a great way to put yourself in position. And the sneak is not a guarantee. To win Madden football game, Scott. This play is huge. I mean, he needs one inch. It says inches. It should say fourth and inch. This is nuts, Scott. And he picks up the first down. And important for Blocky right now is Skim has no timeout. So with that first down, he'll, he'll continue to be able to milk this clock and take time away from Skimbo, who would love to try to put something together before the end of the second half. Can't get cute. You're here at the six. Touchdown would tie it. This is a running play for sure if you're blocking. Unless you catch Skim and a run commit. Stretches it outside. Cuts it back with Henry. Brought down at the four. That's exactly why you want to run it right there if you're blocking, Scott. Because even if Skim stops you, you get to take another 30 seconds off of that game clock. And you got three timeouts. So you're not worried about running out of time. It's basically perfect clock management that you're seeing from Blocky, and these guys excel in that area. Their clock management is biblical. That's what you're seeing from Blocky right here. Oh. And Henry carries Flowers into the end zone. He's going to have a chance to tie it, and he will. This team, you got to be careful with this 25 seconds can't turn the ball over. You can't get caught deep in your own territory either. Blocky has all three timeouts. And if you're Blocky, you're feeling good. Just don't let up any points right here. No big plays, and you got you go into the second half tied, but you're also getting the ball back. Skimbo's biggest chance to score is right here. He is fantastic on special teams, and here comes Renfro. Up the side, try to cut it back. I'm going to mark him down at the 34. Look at this. Wilson and Flowers just get carried into the end zone. 
you're not going to get much reaction from young Abbott Lopez. Focused young man right there. Very respectful. Not only of, of the game, very rarely, if ever, hear him complain. Stayed focused on the task at hand. Final play of the half. Take a fumble. These guys have played some barn burners, and it's continuing here at the half. The score is 7-7 between Skimbo and Blocky. Start of the third quarter here between Skimbo and Blocky and a tie game. Forget about the first 10 minutes. It's all about the last 10. Blocky will get it first. And just like he came out and stopped Skimbo in the opening drive, that's what Skimbo needs right now. Yeah, this is going to be a big statement drive for Blocky, a big opportunity to make a statement for Skimbo on defense. Every, let's be real, Scott, every drive in this ball game when it's this close is going to be huge. No room for error when you're competing at this high of a level with the stakes this big. So first and ten for the man from Miami, Florida, just 21 years old in his second season. Didn't make a big splash last year, but he's come on here in Madden 18. In a big way. And you know, you know when you know, but I mean obviously Blocky's the real deal. But what really lets you know that he is the real deal, Scott, is you know, anybody can tell you how great they are at something. You know, they, anyone can talk themselves up. That's easy. I'm amazing. It, it, it's when your peers, you are amazing. It's when your peers in your competition are the ones that are saying good things about you. And the one, and they're the ones that are talking you up. You, you let other, your game do the talking, and then other people will talk for you. And that's what we've seen from Blocky all season long. All you hear from the competitors is, man, Blocky is a tough game. And he's on and his, he's his horse. horse. Oh. And you talk about, there's, there's two players in this whole league that nobody wants to face in a single elimination game. That's Blocky and Stevie J. Blocky's defense has been tremendous for the last couple months. And you hold Skimbo to such low scores, especially the last time they met. Came down to the final drive, and this one's on the same boat. I mean, you take it. I mean, I know he's in the 16th seed, but Skimbo's the number one player in the world, and you can match him play for play. That's how you know he's the real deal. Yeah, I think fair to say, Blocky coming in at the 16th seed, I mean, Almost didn't make it, but he, he, he's no 16 seed the way he's been playing. By far one of the top players in the world. And you know what? Even if you, you are the 16 seed, that still means you're one of the 16 best at a game that millions and millions of people play. We talked about the difference in these players being razor thin. That's a good example of it right here. First and 10 at the 34. Winner of this one's going to the Elite Conference Championship with an opportunity to play for the Madden Bowl, the most prestigious event in the long legacy of John Madden football. Yeah, the, the, and for this Madden Bowl to be for the first ultimate league, this belt holds some extra weight in my opinion, Scott. This is a really an opportunity to put your spot in history. And for a guy like Skimbo, you can really add to your already amazing legacy. You were able to make a run and come away with that first ever Ultimate League belt. Oh, it's Super Bowl one. There's no doubt about it. First and 10 at the 20. Mariota on the delay. Henry just continuing to show such power. Even when you think you got him for a loss, he's able to Pick up one, second and nine. Block continuing to move the ball. And you talk about what the belt will do for Skimbo's legacy. How about a guy like Blocky 
your first time starting to make live events, people don't really know who you are. You go and win that belt. Anytime you go to a Madden event, people are going to know who you are. They're going to want to take pictures. They're going to want to talk to you. And you'll be renowned as one of the best Madden players out there in the world. And that can open up all kinds of opportunities for you. Sure, the money is nice. The glory is forever. It's fantastic. But the opportunities that come with that type of exposure are something special as well, Scott. And for Skimbo, have an opportunity to cement your name. Down in the books is one of the greatest to ever do it. Third and nine. Bo Jackson. Oh, my God. Boy, he looked like he was going to be shot of a cannon there. Wrapped up at the 16, and Blocky's going to take the three. Skimbo would do the same thing. They're going to put the pressure on their defense. That's how confident they are. Skimbo's this might be blocked. It, it is. The ball falls. He's got it. Scooped it oh up. God. That's Vaughn Miller, can't outrun Mariota. Mariota saved the day. Oh my, oh my goodness, Scott. You need to make a play. If you're Mike Skim, how about you block the I kick? Can't lose now. That was huge. Blocky kicked it a little bit early on his power. Didn't game. get perfect. Left him that. vulnerable. Like, you can't lose a game like this. And Skim capitalizes. That was huge. Skimbo has been. Breathe new life. Fresh win, fresh fire after the block. And to give you some perspective of how big that was, Skimbo, who needs to stop on Blocky. Blocky has not turned the ball over at all much this season. He's plus 18 in the turnover category. He has 23 takeaways, only five giveaways. So for Skimbo to be able to get the ball back on a block kick, that is huge. Wentz trying to buy time, looking, looking. He'll just live to face another down, second and five. You're going up against a guy like Blocky. He doesn't turn the ball over hardly ever. You desperately need something on defense, and you come up big like that. If you're Mike Skim, you need to turn this possession into some points. You can't make a play like that and not do nothing with it, Scott. Third and six. Just six minutes and change left in this ball game. $20,000 on the line right here. Screaming. He throws it away. They've already made 20. This is a game to make another 20. This is a decision time right here for Skip. Look at him thinking about it, Scott. Blocky mm. ready. Fourth and six right now, he's showing punt. You know you're gonna get the ball again. You know you got Greg the leg. You punted it about 40 yards last time. Just replicate that and try to extend this game, see if you can get a stop. Just kidding, you gotta make sure you kick this out of bounds. You don't wanna let Blocky get loose here. And he keeps his feet in bounds, tight ropes. Pick up a few yards to the 31. What the 21 year old Abbott Lopez, you get your kick blocked. It's so easy to go on tilt in such a big game. 20 grand on the line, your ultimate league season, you stay composed, and you get a stop on the number one. Oh, and Henry ball. gets loose. All the way down to the 40 yard line. Boom! That's that, sh you know, Sam Shields. He's a low cap player that he ran over. And Mariota gets free. That's why you see these guys load up on secure tacklers, but you're facing a, a passing game, a blocky. Can't afford, you need guys that have coverage. You need guys that can do it all. So you got to tank a player like Sam Shields and he can't cover the halfback. I am just so impressed with Blocky right now, Cole. I'm telling you, you get your kick block like that. If it's me, I'm going to smash my controller in a game this big. He just locks in on defense, gets the stop, and here he is already in field goal range, right back where he started before that block kick. What a ball game.
We're headed to the fourth quarter. Here in the divisional round between Skimbo and Blocky, tied at seven, five minutes to decide their destiny. Start of the fourth quarter. Skimbo, the number one player in the world, facing the guy that got the bye, got to skip the wild card round. And now we're here in the divisionals of the Elite Conference. Second and eight at the 26. Blocky with the ball, trying to take the lead. Certainly in field goal range. Mariota standing tall, buying time, rolling left. He's going to pick up a few yards, make it two before Von Miller forces him out of bounds, and this is a huge third and six. Yeah, this is big, Scott, because usually in Madden, you're in four down territory, but in this situation, if you're blocking, you don't get this first down, you're going to need to just take your points to take the lead. So this is a big play. This will determine if the drive continues. Mariota looking, throws it to the corner, and he's in bounds at the seven. Wow. What a way to come up big if you're Abbott Lopez. It looks like A gets open. He doesn't need it from the slot receiver. He goes to D.D. Westbrook, who's been so consistent for him. Makes a huge play, first and goal, Scott. Skip needs to get stingy here in this red zone. His last possession, he got his kick blocked, and He's Henry in, will walk into the end zone and give Blocky a six-point lead. Oh, man, how about Derrick Henry on that drive, Scott? Doing all kinds of work. The lead is now seven for Blocky. You Mike Skim. Look at Block. He's showing some emotion. One stop is all he needs. If you Skim, you, you've struggled on offense versus Blocky. If there was ever a time to put a drive together. Hester nearly breaking free at the 34. These two Titans locked in here in the playoffs. Winner will go to the conference championship with a chance to win the Madden Bowl. It's been an amazing season. $1.15 million. Prize money. You win the whole thing, take home 100 grand. This game alone is a $20,000 game of Madden football. I'm telling you, Scott, the exposure you get if you win that ultimately competitive Madden and the MTS circuit isn't going anywhere anytime soon, not from what I've seen. You can really set yourself up to establish yourself as a force in this sport. You can make a run here in the ultimate league, and that's what Blocky's trying to do with the big sack, and Skim's got himself in a situation here. Try to go up top. Nothing was there. Ate the football, now it's a third and 18. What a dot. Oh, it's there he picked is. off. This is big. Ronnie Lott. And now Blocky has it at the 30 oh, with an opportunity to go up two scores. I thought he had it, Scott. The, in, the deep dig route breaks open. And Skim just needed to wait an extra second. Let's it go a little too early. Blocky's Ronnie Lott is all over and he capitalizes. Henry. Able to recover for a moment. That'll go down as a gain of zero. And the touch, this, this makes the touchdown block he got on his last possession that much more important because all he needs to worry about right now is not turning the ball over, kill some clock. We say it all the time and take your three, make it two possessions, and give yourself a good chance to make an additional 20 rack of rules. Can't take a sack, so he throws it quickly to Henry. Spins away, maybe got a yard. A sack here would be devastating. Might want to think about running the football here just to be sure. 
Will Mike Skimbo run commit? Wouldn't that be diabolical? Delay, Henry picks up another yard. It's a 45 yard field goal. Has had one blocked already. Skimbo blocks this one. Block, you might want to think about a gamer tag change. I see what you did there. Can lightning strike twice for Skimbo? Or will Blocky take a 10 point lead? It's up and it is good. And the lead is 10 for Blocky. And I know you're sitting there at home thinking, this is going to be a huge upset. Not so fast, my friend. Blocky is the one that had the buy. Skimbo's the one that had to get here. Good point, Scott. It's a 10-game season. Blocky proved himself. Skimbo trying to beat him for three times in a row. And you know at any level, Renfro. Oh, yeah, my boy. God, are you kidding me? And he will score. It's a quick one for Skimbo. He says, shut up, Coltrane. I'm taking this to the house. Go to the dictionary. Look at the definition of how to fight in a John Madden football game, and there'll be a big picture of Michael Skimbo sitting right there for you, Coltrane. Are you kidding me? And this is a man, Mike Skimbo. This is what he does. This is his profession. He, he quit his job. He stopped coaching. Does, still does some volunteer work, but he said, this is what I do, and with his season on the line, you thought he was going to go and lay down? Uh-uh. I'm penciling in my bracket here, putting down Blocky. I got to B-O-L. The next thing I know, Skimbo's taking it to the house. Oh, my goodness. That's huge. With all three timeouts now and the two-minute warning, if you're Mike Skim, if there was ever a time for you to step up on defense and all the big Madden games you've played, this will be it. Second and nine. Skimbo needs a stop. Blocky needs that clock to continue to move. Going to take this down to the two-minute warning. Skimbo has three timeouts, as does Blocky. I'll tell you what, Scott, these playoffs in the Ultimate League or something special. Sometimes it's hard to get excited at the early point in the season. These wins, those early wins were key for Blocky to get him to this moment. Second and nine. Skimbo's got to lock up. So many adjustments. He flips it again. Gonna get out of the way with Mariota. Throws it upfield and Grant. That's a low value cap guy. That's not Jerry Rice out there. And he overthrew him. The amount of work Skimbo did with his user defender on that play, Scott, was unprecedented. He took away two routes all on the left side, forced Blocky to go out right. And if you're Blocky, you go up two possessions, you think they got the game won, and now you find yourself in a hell date with Mike Skimbo. Third and nine. First down would be sweet if you're blocky. Skimbo needs a stop. Mariota gets the sacked. Ball, the ball. It's, it's still on the ground and Skimbo, Skimbo recovers. Oh my goodness. It doesn't stop. The action's not going nowhere. And the ultimate league playoffs are buzzing. That was Brown flying in there to recover the fumble. And now Skimbo is in control. And he's already in field goal range, Cole. Takes a sack. That'll back him up seven. He does have Greg the leg. And if Skim gets this first down, watch how biblical his clock management will be. He thrives in these type of situations, Scott. 1.44 to go. Blocky uses a timeout. You cannot throw an interception. Gets a block. Slides down at the 17. So just like that, it's now third and seven. And Blocky will use a second timeout. Biggest play of the game coming up right here, Scott. If you're Blocky, you need to hold the door for these seven yards. You can't let 
Skim convert this first down. If you're Skim, you, you can't throw away the game here. Got to protect the rock if you Skim. I know you want to try to end it, you want to try to get a touchdown. But you have an opportunity to tie it, and he's going to get sacked. Big defense right there by Blocky. Final timeout for Blocky. Skimbo. He's going to have a 43-yard field goal here to tie the game. Blocky will not try to block it, and it's up and it's good. 17-17. We played 18 minutes, 33 seconds. And we're tied. No timeouts for Blocky. If you're Blocky, the worst thing you want to happen here is to go to overtime. Cannot turn it over. Here's the thing, Scott. He's got plenty of time, though. Like you said, sure. 126. And Henry's the kind of running back that just needs one moment of one-on-one. -on -one. He can truck you and be gone. Yeah, this is intense. Under 70 seconds to go. No timeouts. Of course, in John Madden football, that is an eternity. Got him. Mariota. Oh, the back throw. He was under pressure. Look at this. On the run, Scott. Under pressure. And sometimes when you set your feet, you yeah. got to give yourself an extra little second. It doesn't matter because oh Henry God. picks up the first down on third and eight. What a gutsy play call. Third and eight backed up in your own territory. Are you kidding me? And he goes to the draw. Diabolical. 35 seconds to go. Rolling, looking. Look at this defense. Got to throw it away. Can't take a sack. Clock on the move. And Skimbo calls the timeout. Wow. I don't know about that Ugh. one. I don't know. Skimbo. I don't like questioning Mike Skim, Scott, but. He knows he's also in field goal range at the 37 if he can get the turnover on downs. But that's a risk. That's way off in the distance. That was a big risk by Skim. He's got to be feeling good about his defense right now. Oh, my God, that's fucking threw right at him. Threw it right by Skim's ear hole. Oh, that was what Skim needed, and the clock's ticking. It's still going. Ten seconds now, and he'll get out of bounds at the 44. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe he threw at Skim like that. Skim just missed the chance at a user lurk. Could have been game sealing. Would have been in field goal range. Need about ten yards for an opportunity for a game-winning field goal. Skimbo's got to guard the sidelines. He's going to throw it to A. And that's close. <laughs> that that's might a 52-yarder from there. Oh, my goodness. That might be it. What a read by Blocky. Skim didn't protect the sidelines. He has Matt Prater on his roster. And Blocky's going to... He gonna doesn't have the range. Doesn't have it. Throws it away. Maybe that's to kill the time. He's going down to the field goal. 52 yarder. Oh 52 goodness. yard field goal for $20,000. And Skim will take a timeout. Yeah, Skim, you got to watch the fake here, too. I don't know if Blocky has the leg to make this. Skimbo, not too sure. Normally he tells us. He's iced. Guskowski. Perfect. Perfect. Power. Ice, up. ice, baby. Can we kick it? No, it's just short. We're headed for overtime here in the playoffs. I don't know if my heart can take it. Look at it again. Just wow. short. I like that angle, too. If it was a 51-yarder, it would have been good.
catch your breath. Headed to overtime between Skimbo and Blocky. Start of overtime. We had the toss. Blocky won the toss and elected to kick. Oh, are you serious? That can't be. That's insane. I'm serious as the heart attack you're about to have. That's insane. You elect to kick. That just shows a crazy type of confidence in your defense, and that's a questionable call. If that's what Blocky decided to do. Remember, Skimbo did this in the Patriots Club Series against Rose Bowl. And won. Came up with the stop, the interception, and won the game on a field goal. Oh, my God. Skim will take it. He can end it right here, up the sideline. Spins away. Oh. Has it at the 45. Overtime rules. Same as the NFL. If he goes down and scores a touchdown, it's over. If he kicks a field goal, Blocky will get an opportunity to tie or win. And right now, you're seeing the game from Blocky's perspective. You're going to see his defensive play art right now. Obviously very confident in his defense if he decided to kick in overtime. Jamal Charles. Oh. Nice run to the 50. How big has the special teams in this game been for Skim? Another great return. He returned one for a touchdown. He also blocked a field goal. Second and five. Both of these players are going through something special in this game. Winner goes to the conference championship to either face Young Kiv or Stevie J. Look at this tackle, Scott. You want to talk about draw D? I'm going to just run through the gap and blow you up in the backfield. Skim's got a big third and nine. This is huge. Third and nine. Ball at the 46. Hester. Boy, that's close. Short. That's close. I think he's short at fourth and inches, and he hurried up. Boy, you got to take a timeout here. I think if you skim, you got a timeout, get the goal line. No, he doesn't. He snaps it. This skim by Oh, no! Doing? Bucky comes up big! He had fourth and an inch. Not even inches. And he tried to throw the bomb. Skim was going for the gusto. And that's the thing players will do. They'll get you in a third and inches, fourth and inches, get you in your run D, try to go up top for the big play. But that was risky if you if you Mike Skim and he paid for it. Now a field goal will win it. Wins it for blocking, like you said, Scott. Real NFL overtime rules. Next point wins. We know. From a previous kick, he's got to get within 50 yards, so he needs about four more yards to feel super comfortable with Guskowski. That's the kicker he brought to the party. This is huge. Huge Third play right and there. five. Potential. If you're Skimbo, you got to cover the short routes. Potential two down territory for Blocky. He's yes, got him. He's open. Got him. And Blocky's going to win this ball game. No, keep in mind, we've seen Skimbo block a kick already, Scott. I'm so bad. My, oh, my. Uh, Ice yeah. in the veins of that youngster right there. Oh, yeah. Give yourself a little celebration right there, Blocky. That was a dot potential $20,000 play. But there's still some work to do. Not going to kick the field goal here. Spikes the ball. Makes it second and ten. Skimbo will use the timeout. Means he's going to do another play here. And then he's going to kick the field goal. He's going to throw this away. He's going to put his receiver on a smoke screen and then throw it away. That's going to be a flag. Tensional grounding. That'll back him up. Now it's a 40-yarder. It's 
awkward. He forgot, meant to laugh by block. He meant to hot route his receiver to a smoke screen, so when he throws it away, it's in, in the, the direction area. of receiver. He didn't, he didn't get it perfect. This is the win it. Skim could block this. Third. Block at knows. 20, he's going to kick the field goal to try to win it here in overtime. Look at him. He can't even look at the screen, Scott. It's a 40-yarder. He's going to wait till there's three seconds left on that play clock and try to let it rip. How nervous does he look in the bottom right? $20,000 kick. And it's up, and it is good, and he has beaten the number one player in the world. And Blocky is on to the Elite Conference Championships and continues his road to the Madden Bowl. That was one of the best Madden football games I have ever seen in my life, and we've been doing this for over a decade, Scott. 20 to 17 is your final in overtime. Blocky is the winner. Let's go down to Adrian Lawrence, who's both with Skimbo and Blocky. Yes, gentlemen, very, very good matchup here. Absolutely intense. And let me turn to you first, Skimbo. How do you feel that this played out in terms of your play and your performance? Uh, I mean, I had a lot of chances there, right? Uh, shout out to him. Best 3-3-5 I've ever played against. Um, the adjustments he had for me that game were unreal. He had every zone, like, play every route which was insane so my hats off to him for the lab work i mean he deserves it and for him to fight like he fought like through all that like i hope he wins the whole thing and you and i had talked before the matchup and you had told me that you kind of got the sense that blocky would take the win here do you think this was superstition again no i mean the game wanted me to win i just didn't like i said the what he he fought so hard and to, to, for him to come out victorious after something like that like like I said, I hope he wins the whole thing. And Blocky held you to 47 total yards. What was it about his game that gave him that leverage? Uh, man, lab work. You got to give the guy credit, right? I'm sure he said he's been in the lab for me. He knew this uh, chance would probably come again, and he took full advantage of it. Shout out to him. Well, you had a really good run. Congrats on it. And Blocky, congratulations. You came in as the 16th ranked player, and you just beat the number one. How do you feel? Feels good. It's been pretty much three seasons in a row. Just not making it to the final one game away from like the big stage, the big money. Finally went over the hump. Feels good. Yeah, $20,000 game that's in your pocket now, which is nice. Also, right there in OT, why didn't you kick it sooner? Oh, uh, because I don't want to be iced. Oh, okay, so that's what you were concerned about. Very nice. In terms of moving on, I guess, who do you look forward to competing against? Uh, I expect Kiv to win, so... I expect to play Kiv. He's a great player, so I know it's going to be a good game. So looking forward to that game. All right, best of luck.